Hey everyone, Griff Hamlin here again with my good friend Art Nace of Nace Amplifiers. And what we're going to do in this video is a little bit different. Uh, if you saw the other video, we did the M27R in a combo. This one here, we have the M27R in a head. Uh, M27R, roughly 7 watts, kind of like we did in the other video. I'm not going to go over all of the details again. Uh, 6v6, roughly 7 watts. Um, has a little bit has the, the electronic reverb in it sounds great this what we've done is we've plugged it into a uh, port city 212 cabinet this is a cabinet with a celestian vintage 30 and a g12h30 in it so it's a, an 8 ohm cabinet um, currently i have the microphone in front of one of the speakers I am not sure which one, to be honest. I don't remember how I mounted them. <laughs> Probably someone so, to like. Apparently, uh, my guess is it's the G12H30 because I usually mic it on the right-hand side and that's the one I prefer. So my guess is you're gonna be here in the G12H30. But um, great cabinet, great head. And we're gonna also demonstrate, because basically, tonally, it's the same as, uh, as the other amp, the combo, um, uh, I decided to grab the uh, the 335. A lot of people ask, you know, what what's it sound like with the 335? You get a chance to hear that. So that's just the amp. Now, if you didn't see the other video, I'm, I'm using uh, the same pedal board as I, as I was before. Currently, none of the pedals are on, but they are here. So, um, Art, is there, is there any difference between this and the combo it, it, electronically, or is it Elect truly just the cabinet? Electronically, it's exactly the same amp. There's absolutely no difference between the two amps. Okay. Just one's, one's, a one's, one's a combo. One's a combo. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, one thing I didn't demonstrate in the last video is what the amp sounds like overdriven. I ran it completely clean in the last video. So with this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna crank it up a little bit and let you guys hear what this amp can do it towards the top of its range. Now what's really nice is right now we're we're at about 1030 on on a on a clock dial. I'm gonna bring it up to high noon. It's loud, you know, it, it'd probably get over a band, but we can still talk. <laughs> and notice that there's absolutely no hiss. Nothing coming out of it right now. So that's very cool. Um, let's crank it up uh, right now. Now we're starting to get into a little clip. So it's got a really nice, nice overdrive happening. I'm going to bring some of the reverb out just so you can hear a little bit more pure tone. And if I dime it, hey Griff, one of the things that uh, people have asked about is uh, sustained for this amp. Uh, what is oh, yeah. your experience? Uh, it, it sustains very well. Um, we can we can demonstrate that you know even on a even on a clean sound. Um, if you want to hear what the note sounds like. So what a lot of people ask about probably are, are some, in some amps you'll hear little artifacts, you know, little things will start to creep in as that note starts to, to die away. But obviously you can hear there's none of that going on. If we dime it out again. I can actually get it to feedback probably. Hendrix imitation and do this all day long. 
<laughs> he almost had it there. So, you know, great. yeah, so, you know, just, just, uh, it'll, it'll sustain as long as you want. <laughs> Is probably the best way to... Rather than crank it up... This is a ZVEX box of rock. I happen to think this sounds real good with this amp. Um, what I what I think is kind of funny, uh, Art and I were talking earlier. I'll let him tell you a little bit more about this. But um, what I what I really dig about this amp, one of the things that I like about it is how it's. I, I called it. I said it was a little bit martially, and and Art kind of laughed at me because uh, because it's actually more closely related to a champ. You said right. Yes, it is. And so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but uh, you know, for those of you who who don't who don't know this already, you know, there's, for example, uh, Eric Clapton's Layla was recorded on a champ, and uh, most most Jeff Beck stuff is is all a champ. So you know that classic tone that, that we all really love and grew up on yeah. is a champ. You know, really. So th that's probably why why we like the sound so much is because it oh, it, it has that that familiar yeah, yeah it has yeah. that familiar sound to it, and and with the you know I know all the, the power transformer mojo that I don't understand biasing biasing all that stuff so that's what that's what gives it its its uh, its unique character but um, anyway I'll, I'll run you guys through some that's the box of rock like I said so if you're into like the ACDC tones box of rocks through this thing Got, it's every bit of thump you could ever need for that sort of uh, that sort of tone. BB preamps, kind of a little tube screamer-ish. If you want to really uh, get your rock on, There we have it. <laughs> great, it's a great fun. It's a it's an awesome amp. Best thing about this, I can pick it up from here. What did you say that head weighs? Uh, the head the head as it stands right here is uh, about fourteen pounds in a in a in a transportation box. The amp itself weighs four pounds. Four pounds. So it's mostly the box. The wood weighs more than the amp. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So if, uh, you know, for those of us tired of schlepping stuff around and, and breaking our backs, this is the way to go, uh, I can assure you. Uh, you know, that, that the combo is is the, the most of the weights in the speaker, right? Yeah, the speaker weighs the most on the uh, box itself, and the amp is four pounds. Four pounds, so that's awesome, awesome. Well, thanks, Art. I appreciate you coming out. Okay, thanks for having me. Take it easy. And uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Got to, got to hear some pedals, hear some amp. So uh, enjoy, and take care. We'll talk to you soon.